Hey everybody, Dion here. We're back. I told you we'd be back tonight for Black Wax. Oop, that was hard to say. Black Wax. That's what I meant to say. Um, so we flipped this piece back over, you guys. So it's upright. Uh, Instagram, you have been missing the last few nights. We have been working on this piece upside down. We actually did a makeover on the glass with it upside down. Started Friday, worked a little bit more on this piece Saturday and Sunday. Back a Monday for a little bit of black wax. Oh, nope. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> Hi, Chris Butler. How are you? Um, hoping you saw Matt's Whoa. and I our video today. Yeah, yeah. the camera flipped around. Um, hoping you saw our video from today because your artwork was a feature during the barbecue scene. So you make sure you check that out that I posted on social media uh, when Matt is dancing. So I hope Shaz's you saw the video. birthday, send her out a happy birthday. Oh, Shaz's birthday, happy birthday. Okay guys, when I said we're gonna do the black wax, I'm really happy with the color combination, but we did this on Friday night on Facebook only. I apologize, YouTube. Um, I have a guest on every Friday night, and so I can only stream from one source. So I only stream on Facebook for Friday night, been doing it over two years. So um, did this, antiqued the glass, Love how it turned out. And then I added three different colors, marquee red, cowgirl coral, and then we've got some fire starter and then um, some um, copper paint. So I wanna seal it with some black wax. So we'll do this area here and I'll turn it around and let you see what the side looks like. Um, it's just an old, it's a small little cabinet. And um, hi Tamara Carpenter. Um, now, you don't need very much of this DIY wax. It's really soft and you don't need very much of it. So I have my rag handy and I'm gonna put a little and then I'm literally gonna splotch it. Well, huh, I have zero. Anybody see the video we released today? Okay, so I'm gonna get most of it off. Thank you. Bonuses, it was hilarious. All right, I'm gonna put a little black. I'm gonna work really quickly. I want this piece to be really distressed and worn. I'm gonna work in sections. I'm gonna go in circles. And I'm gonna take my rag and go back, a clean rag and go back over it to get any little chunks removed from it. So everybody, you guys like this color combination, Matthew? Quiet over there, Woods. Yeah, I'm just, you know, reading comments, you know, saying hi to the fans. Okay. <laughs> fans, huh? Yep, Gavin's on, Gavin's on here tonight. Afternoon, evening, Gavin. Merry he Christmas. said he went to the post office today. It's closed on Sunday. Um, but he loves the spray bottle. Super. Uh, he said his brother sprayed me with it, but I told him it wasn't a toy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will you big top the glass? Ask Catherine Miles. Yeah, I will. Uh, the black is actually going to weather this piece even more than it was. I'm really loving how the glass looks. You guys, it was clear. Um, you're working on your creative idea. I love it. I need a little more. This is the piece that we nicknamed Pretty Little Steampunk after one of the YouTube viewers. She suggested um, that it was kind of had a steampunk feel and we ran with that because that sounded really cool because makes me sound, you know, youthful, right? Don't you feel youthful when you say steampunk? Yeah, I've, I'm feeling, yeah, yeah I feel it. like I'm uh, back in high school. Yeah, I'm like, yes. Steampunk. Steampunk I, like. I like it. I mean, it just literally right. sounds cool. Yeah, so I, think I mean, that's us, right? That's us. I mean, we're the epitome of cool, honey. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're here every night painting. So cool. Love that Matt is stepping up and helping you more these days. Oh, thanks, Catherine. They love that, Matt. Uh-oh, Jamie. Jamie on YouTube, she said, I saw your front door in the video. How did you seal that? Uh, how did I seal that? I did it on video. I don't, I don't, I wasn't there. I don't have no idea. 
I'm assuming you sealed it with some... I did it on the video. Some coats, a <laughs> sealer, I would say. I don't know. I think I used a big top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used a big top from DIY. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm just putting a little bit of black. I'm not doing a whole lot. I just want to deepen the color and really antique it a little bit more. And then um, we'll do the bottom here in just a second too and turn it on the sides. This was a piece that I was painting upside down just to change things up a little bit, give everybody, give myself a little bit different perspective with the shading and the distressing. Shaz? Happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> said hashtag more Matt is in the house. The house. <laughs> Thank you for that, Shaz. Yeah, Jessica Smith uh, says definitely need some gears incorporated somewhere going with the steampunk vibe. Definitely. So that really kind of falls on me. I'm going to have to go find something. Well, if we can get to that store tomorrow that I was telling you about. Oh. For some old doors. They'll have, yeah, they have they have old hardware and they probably have something there. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll look it back up. Um, but it's in Oklahoma City. All right. So let me shift this around, you guys. Mandy Driscoll says, reminds me of a cupboard from Harry Potter. From Harry Potter? Harry Potter. That was my English voice. It's more like a, yeah, I don't know. It's the same one that I get. Too. Harry Potter. It's that same one I get. Let's put this right here for me. We, I love me some Harry Potter. Oh, ma'am, yeah. Watch it all the time. Um, Melanie K. Carpenter, do you have a link for IOD? I need to order a brayer. I don't, they don't have links and then I don't, like I don't, they don't have affiliates. Um, I do sell it, but I don't sell it from home. Like we don't sell it on, on our online shop. So um, I don't actually, uh, you would have to just find a retailer. Um, they, they push all their sales through their retailers so they don't sell from their, their main website. And I, because we just don't have the manpower to do shipping at our house every day, like we just don't do that, I don't have it on my website. Uh, Gavin has a question. He says, what does cure mean if I have to let paint cure? You have to let it set and harden. Basically, just give it some time to dry, basically, right? Yeah, and, and the longer that it cures, the harder that the finish will become, the more durable it becomes. Um... So if you will look at um, on ironorchidesign.com and go to retailers, you can go to one of the online retailers and find them from the ones that sell online and they will ship it to you. I just don't do that. But the one from Iron Orchid Design is the one I have found to be my favorite. So the black is just adding a little bit depth and I really love what we did here. Give a little bit of shading there. Hi everybody, I hope you all are having a great start to your week. It's Monday. Mondays are hard for some people, but the kids went back to school today for a lot of people. Yay! No more arguing. Uh, guys, I think we're on day 73 or day 74. I can't remember which. I think we're on 74. I think I'm on 74. Yeah, day 74 of 100. And it's hard. It's hard. Is it hard for you, Woods? It is. I mean, it's taxing. Yes. I have to literally get up from the couch, set the lights up. Set the lights get up. Get the computers going. You, I got to boot them up. You, oh, my word. And then I, I got to... You're exaggerating. I got to put on my happy face. I, well, not like... What, did you have on your sad face before? Oh, I had my sleepy face you on You don't really before. have a very happy face on tonight, <laughs> to be honest with you. We have enjoyed reading the comments, though, from the video that we released this morning. You guys were so kind and so thoughtful. He was such and, a treat. Uh, okay, quick question. Sure. Are the Facebook folks, can they hear us okay? Well, I don't know. Such a hard life, says Josie. You're such a little trooper, Matt. Yeah, like Facebook is acting okay. Okay, all right. Hi, We've guys. got several come over on YouTube that left Facebook because they didn't have any sounds. So I just want to make oh. sure. Oh, 
Yes, thank you, Terry Brewer, for me. I know. Such a hard life. Had to get off the couch. Although he did make dinner, which he usually does. I did make I did make supper. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he made dinner and cleaned it up because I was working and Holden was doing his homework. And he's been working all day, but yeah, he has to walk in here and turn on the computer and read comments. <laughs> This is cool. I like this, Woods. Uh, Tammy Weber just joined us along with Rita Young. Hi, Tam Tammy and Rita. Rita, thanks for the encouragement. I appreciate it. This looks very good. Okay, let's turn it to the other side. Easy peasy. So once this wax is dry, you guys, tomorrow all I have to do is get my buffer and my favorite buffer you can use is this is the one that I use um, as you can see you just have to make sure I've had this for a year now and I do not have any trouble with the color coming off or anything so um, just make sure that it's nice and dry God, I love this brush I do this every time have you ever done have you ever like just set and like watch TV with this brush no I haven't done that yet yeah it's pretty awesome uh, for dinner we had a lot of questions about what I cook Oh. So just keep going. I'll, I'll talk. Okay. Yeah, just All keep right. doing what you're doing. Doing a fantastic job. Well, thanks. All right, ladies. I fixed, uh, we had uh, some homemade quesadillas with some rice and black beans. Yep. Guacamole. Yep. Hot sauce. Yep. That we bought in Zanesville, Ohio. Oh, yes. yes at the farmer's really market. Kelly Weiler, when we were there, they had the farmer's market that day. And Matt came home with one or two jars of salsa. Uh, Joby, Josie said the buff is back in stock. Oh, thank goodness. Everybody, it's back in stock. This brush you can now get on the Paint Pixie website. This is all I do. This will literally take me like 10 minutes. Um, it's fabulous. So this is the buff. Um, I plan on having it for a very long time. Like I said, wax does not come off on the brush. I've had this for over a year, and I've used it on every piece of furniture I've had since I bought it. Uh, beauty... Luscious, right? I say that right? Beauty Luscious. Beauty Luscious. She says, I'm saving some money so I can buy that brush. Oh, girl. It's very calming. So also, another use when you're watching television or at a stressful event, you can just rub it on your skin and it's something. Um, Derek says he can't hear me. Who? Derek, but everybody else is commenting. So we it's got some really that can strange. And some that can't, yeah, some some are and some not. It, it, uh, they can come over on Facebook. I don't think we're having any problems on YouTube. So. Okay. Very strange. I apologize, guys. Um, what colors did you use on the sides? Was it the same as the front? Yes. Yes. Could you repeat that? So it's, um, Diana, it is Marquee Red, which again, these are colors from DIY, Firestarter, and Cowgirl Coral. Those are the three colors, and then this is a black, black wax. Um, Angelica? Hi, Angelica. She says, hi, Dion. Hi. What time of the day or night, hours, do you feel more creative? In the morning. That's not necessarily true. Let me think about that. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm more productive in the morning, but I'm more creative in the evening. So I start off, I'm a morning person. I start off, I can get so much work done in like two or three hours. But my creativity tends to grow and grow and grow by the end of the day. So I would actually say I'm more creative in the evening. Once I get all of the like business stuff done, then I'm able to really focus on my creativity. So I think that's what I meant to say, actually. Uh, Roxanne on Facebook, she wants to know, do you ever glaze a piece? Nope, no glazing. Hmm. Oh, did I do that out loud? You did. Sorry. Sorry, Bye -bye. I'm sorry to bore you over here, Woods. <laughs> uh, Anita? Hi, she Anita. says, I cannot find DIY paint anywhere in my area. Aw, did you look on our retailer's map? Like, did you look for our retailers and the stores? And then again, where do you live? You don't have to tell us where you live. That may be private. 
make sure you checked out the retailer's map. And that's on the DIY page? Yeah, that's on DIY Paint. You can scroll down to the bottom and click Find a Retailer, and it'll tell you where your closest one is if you put in your zip code. Hmm. Uh, she says, yes, the closest is Michigan, and I'm in Northwest Ohio. Northwest Ohio. Is that anywhere close to Zanesville? I don't know. Zanesville is... East. I guess it's more like mid-east. It could be mid more mid, yeah. Yeah. All right, Gail, she got the sound on. I'm going to give her a shout-out. She tried three different times. Oh, Anita says no, it's not, any, not really close. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, Sue gets hers from the DIY website. Yeah, I have a link, an affiliate link you guys could use if you want to order it and just have it shipped to your home. A lot of retailers will ship too, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of our retailers ship. We just don't. <laughs> so I'm loving what the black is doing to this. It's really distressing it. So that's why I said that. Yeah. That shouldn't be too bad in shipping, I wouldn't think. Stay oh, in yeah. the state. Uh, no, Kelly definitely will ship it to you. Yeah. And she'll ship the IOD, she'll ship Brayer. Uh, Terry Brewer, tell us why you love DIY paint so much, you know. Oh, gosh. Let we don't have enough ways. time, Terry. Let me count the ways. Oh, wow. Teaspoon showed up. Aloha, everyone from. Kilawana, Canada. Oh, cute. Are you sure you said that right, kiddo? Kila, Kilawana? Kilawana. Kilawana. Okay, I'm going to turn this baby. I'm going to no. answer her question about DIY. Yes, please. Yes, but yes, I'm yes, going to, I got to get where I can sit down and concentrate. And thank you guys. Thank you so very much. Listen, uh, Matthew, if you don't mind bringing the camera down, I'm going to get down here and do the bottom section. I'm really happy with how all of it looks. Other than this, the glass actually shifted. <laughs> was when we painted it was upside down. So when Matt put it upside right, right side up, up right side up, there's about a quarter inch that shifted. I am going to get back to your question, Terry. I believe it was Terry, right, that asked that. A little bit more. Uh, yes, down, please, further. All the way. You have to flatten that out. bit more yeah let's go all the way there pretty please so um was it terry that asked That's terry perfect. brewer terry brewer why do i like diy um there are so many good products out there so many good paint lines but diy is it just work well hello well hello it just works for my style yeah. The way that I like to blend and layer, and I'll often the, my, my painting can be kind of sporadic, the way that I come back and forth, because I don't usually get like, a, it's not like I get to just paint all day. I have to come back day after day, and I do these tutorials. I have to stop myself and say, don't keep going. I have to go ahead and um, come back so I can paint on video for you guys sometimes, or I'm teaching my in my group. And because it's a clay-based, Water will reactivate it, and so it's just that it will layer, it will blend easier. Abby, get over here. Come on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I like that it doesn't have a smell. I like that it's non-toxic. I like that it is... Um, extremely durable. The fact that it's a clay-based paint means that it's very, very durable and will harden and cure over time, becomes more and more solid. 
I like the paint colors. Um, gosh, it really, really seems to, um, I feel like once I started using it, to be honest with you, I feel like I was given an opportunity to do more things with my art. So I almost feel like it helped me become a better artist, maybe. I don't know. She will not leave. Matt's trying to get her to go out of the room and she won't. She's sitting right here by him just looking like kind of defiant, like, oh, don't make me go. Okay, so this is black. Alice just showed up. Hi, Alice. Uh, Terry said, especially blue iris. Yes, girl. <laughs> Abby just wants to help. She just wants to be all in our business all the time, and she's probably wanting to go out to the back and potty, but she didn't She didn't go just now, so she's going to have to wait. We won't be, be much longer. This piece was gray. It started out gray. I painted it three years ago and had had it in our house, housing our wedding albums and different things, yearbooks and stuff. So Terry's a dude, by the way. Oh, I am so sorry. Sorry, Terry. Terry Brewer? Is that who it was? Yeah, Terry oh, Brewer. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you for clarifying. Now we know. We were actually talking about that yesterday, how some people's names, it's kind of like, you know, especially when you use a different name on on uh, YouTube, it's really hard to know. We have um, we have quite a few, we have quite a few dudes that watch. We have Chris, Robert, Gloria. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm loving the black. I love this. It looks really good, honey. Does it? Yeah, but it's. I mean, it's not. It's like the colors aren't in your wheelhouse, right? I mean, yeah. it's like, what I mean is you don't use them very often. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, and, know, I know what you mean. And so it's it's good. I got the fire going for you. I know, we turned the fire on for her and everything. Well, she's out now. A lot of people are excited about what kind of hardware you're going to pick out. Well, we're hoping to go to the store tomorrow that's got all um, recycled, not recycled, it's like a salvage yard for doors, furniture. I'm wanting to find a door for my pantry and my laundry room that are old. And um, I'm wanting to find some of those. And so if we do find them, we'll do videos on them so you guys can watch what we do. I want to repaint them probably. Um, also, We'll look for hardware for this piece, and then I need hardware for a couple of doors that I thought might be fun too. So that's what we were hoping to go do tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, Jamie on Facebook, did you put anything over the paint before you waxed? No, just paint and wax. Nothing over it. Wax is the sealer. Sometimes you can put clear to protect it in case my black gets too heavy. But this piece being the steampunk design that it is, I'm pretty cool with it being a little bit splotchy and antique. Uh, Alice says, uh, I think you choose great colors. Thank you, Alice. I had some help from my friend Cleta on this one. She suggested the red and the orange on this one. when we were doing our Friday Night Live. Uh, Gavin says, you're gonna have to paint for a long time because he's only allowed to paint when you're on. That's what his mom said. Oh no. But he's got school tomorrow, so. Gavin, we gotta go to bed. <laughs> yes. Uh, Perry, I think Perry pick, Picking Girl. By the way, this is the Lil C, in case y'all were wondering. Lil C? It's Lil C. It's a perfect little wax brush. Uh, she says she finds some stuff at Habitat for, for Humanity. Yep. Yep. I used to go there a lot. I'm just going to go to this new store because I have, we haven't been there yet. The doors are totally picked over at the Habitat when I go, so we're going to go to this new store and see if we have better luck. Uh, Robbie Gordon. Uh, what is the tutorial name of the periwinkle piece 
in your living room from the Water Girl video. It's called the Parisian. It's the Parisian Hutch makeover on YouTube. If you go to the playlist, it's called the Parisian Hutch. I did it right when I got, I started it before I went to Paris. Couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. Came back, figured out exactly what I wanted to do. Thanks, Robbie, for asking. And Beauty Luscious said it had a great color wax on it. Did you sand it before you started with the new colors? This piece? Like, what'd she say? Say it again, babe. Um, she said the gray color that you had on it, that yeah. had wax on it? Yes. Did you sand it before you started with the new colors? Yeah, I lightly sanded it, just really lightly with the sanding block. That's all I did. I didn't get a sander, a, you know, a digital orbital or anything. I just digital. I wish it was digital. I wish I could just put in a button. <laughs> Press a button and it sands. Yeah, that'd be great. Yep, same brush, two years. Look, still got the sticker on it. That's it. Yeah. Love it. You Josie don't... says, OMG, look how worn down that little C is after two years. I love it. It's the key one I keep using. They they last a really long time. I was going to say, it doesn't look like it's worn down much, has it? I don't know, because this, this is what I have. Oh, no, if you compare it to that one over there. Which one? I don't even see it. The, I have the white one oh, too. Oh, I see it. Yeah. You see yeah. how the white one looks the same, but then there's a clear one to the right of it. Ah, it looks... See how the edges are all yeah, it's doing rounded. Yeah, I use this thing, and it lasts a long time. Carol, I did not. <laughs> Shh. All right, this door, delish. I like it. We'll do the other side before we call it a night. I'm working on some new projects, so I just want to get to it. Get right. New projects? Yes. We got new projects coming up Yes, tonight? you know. Tonight? Up the pike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to get, I'm going to work on it. Ah, all of a sudden it's going to be like day, day's over and i got to go to bed. Uh, Lori McGowan, do you wash the wax brushes? No, ma'am. Do you wash yours, Lori? Lauren the gal, I do not wash. Gavin, mom's there watching you now. She says it looks very pretty. Hi, Michelle. Gavin's mom. I think it's Michelle. I hope I didn't just say that wrong. Did I say that wrong? I think I got it right. I don't know. I think it's Michelle. She'll tell me. The fun part was doing the glass up here. I do not wash the wax brushes, you guys. When I'm done, I go to my drop cloth and I wipe all the extra off and then I'm done. And then right before I use it, I go back and get it off the wall and I do that again and soften it. I never, ever, ever have washed this and I do not put any moisture in with the wax. Um. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't. Rebecca on YouTube. Hi from New Orleans. Oopsies. She's got my water girl bottle and I love it. Oh. So the challenge is the hashtag TI water girl challenge. Post on social media your most creative way on how you would use the water girl. And Matt and I are going to fix. What? We're going to pick the most creative way. Yeah, and that's more of an assistant decision, right? Creative. Get it? Creative assistant. Good creative assistant. You yeah. think I should always um, hand that over to you, bro? Well, yeah. I mean, you've seen my work. Yeah, I've seen your work. I saw your dance video today. Pretty impressive, Wood. That was just, that was like a fraction of, of my dance oh, moves. Oh, no, honey, I know. I wasn't even, I didn't even get started. Oh. I know. Now you're just bragging. <laughs> you're so silly. Yep. I, I like it. it. Woo -woo. I like it. What do you think we should, I mean, you should go with, with black hardware or like chrome. I don't think it matters. I think we can choose any metal. I think we can totally combine all different metals with this style. Like an iron? Like a rusted iron, maybe? That would be great. 
I think we can do just about whatever we want or whatever I want. Yeah, whatever I want. That's exactly right. Whatever I. It's basically whatever I find, right? Yeah, whatever you find is probably what I'm going to put on there. And if I find something to replace those, I will. But for now, I like them, so I'm not going to take them off unless I have to. So we're calling this the Pretty Little Steampunk. Pretty Little Hutch. Marquee Red, Firestarter, and some Cowgirl Coral. And then the glass has all kinds of different colors and techniques used on that. Uh, um, Rob Orr? Hi, Rob. Well, I think it's our husband's account. Oh. Is the buffer brush bristles the same texture as a man's shoe buffer brush? I don't know. That's sure. an awesome question, and I would question. love if Miss Josie Seifker could answer that question. So, um, the way I understand it is there's a mix of synthetic and natural hair bristles in this. It's a combination of them. Um, I know that this is the one that I've had for how long? Year? Year and a half? About. However, um, so I, it's hard for me to tell because it's been so long since I've used one of those brushes on, you know, for shoe polishing. This is softer. Okay, I was going to say this is so soft. I feel like um, the shoe brush, like I remember polishing my dad's boots. Every weekend he would pay me a dollar to shine his cowboy boots. It's child labor, you know that, right? It was my dad. <laughs> and um, so the bristles are at least two inches and um, they're really pretty soft. So anyway, I see you, Michelle, hitting that heart button. Um, so you guys, we still have um, the sides of this piece. Um, how much, I don't wanna keep them. I'm afraid that I'm boring them. Matt? Yes. Like, no, you're like good. Like shoes, Every, ladies? Everybody. Ooh, yeah. house shoes. House shoes. That is so good. With black socks. With black socks from the gym club. I got my gym clothes on. Josie says it is softer. Yeah. It's been a while it's since It's because I've they're longer, she says. One of those brushes in my hand, so I don't know for sure. Thanks guys, I am really happy with it. I wasn't really sure what we were gonna get from this girl, but I am really happy with it. Thanks. Okay, uh, the Prairie Picked Girl, she says, I looked on eBay for steampunk pools, and it looks like people are selling the old outdoor metal water faucet handles for pools. Also the old porcelain sink handles. Oh, that's a, that's a good idea. Very cool. Yeah, that's a great idea. I would love to find that, Matt. That maybe may you have to be kind of creative on how it. I think we should go to that store we're talking about. There was a lot of stuff I remember seeing in that one section that had just all it's kinds all of hardware. All kinds of hardware. Yeah, like doors, locks, keys, hooks, all kinds of things. I bet they have something that we could reuse. If you'll just take some time to go tomorrow, but I want you to do what's on your to-do list. Your your work. You had quite a few people that uh, buffed their daddy's shoes. Oh, really? Yeah, it brings back some memories for a lot of people. I also remember. <laughs> oh, there's probably other people who would do this. My daddy smoked cigarettes, and I would take them and hide them. <laughs> he would get so mad at me. and I mean, not really mad at me, but I would hide them. He would be like, no, don't, no, dad. And he would be like, okay. Where are my cigarettes? And be like, I don't know, Daddy. I don't know. Um, steampunk is kind of industrial. A lot of gears, um, maybe some skulls, just kind of... Uh, we learned. We didn't know either. Old industrial type stuff from what I understand.
We learned this from Pretty Little Wife yep. on the YouTube. She schooled us, and then everybody else started schooling us. Yeah, they were awesome. Yeah, they were they great. came through like champions. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a lesson. No, this crowd that you have on, they're fantastic. No, they're, they're awesome. No, right? Yes. Oh, this looks good. Old rusty sprocket and knobs, as Carol says. And that was because the glass, the glass kind of changed the whole way that this piece looked and it gave it all new character. I think that's what I like, <clears throat> like about <clears throat> the, what, watching you go through the process. Because mm -hmm. it, it, it starts out, then <clears throat> about a third of the way through it changes. Always. <laughs> and then a third of the way through it changes again. <laughs> So it's like you got to come back to see what you're going to yeah. do. Yeah, someone will say, wait a minute, it looks like I missed a couple of days. What happened here? All right, back to the other side, and then we're going to be done. I don't have this on my wheel dollies because this is so lightweight. Josie said, I bought Jerry a steampunk dog this Christmas. <laughs> steampunk dog? Oh, that's funny. Frankie fixing stuff and Manny making stuff go steampunk. Oh, what? that's what? nice. I like that. Yeah, Valerie. Very nice. Very nice. Such a fun video. We uh, giggled all weekend, just so you know. Yeah. We giggled uh, all weekend. I did. Alicia? Hi, Alicia. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, she said, just joining, Dion. Hi. Did you paint the glass doors? Oh, yeah. We did that Friday night um, on Facebook. They were just clear glass. And I did that on Facebook because I have a Friday night live show I've been doing for two years and three months now. Every single Friday night. And I have my guest on Quita Allen of All Shabbed Out. And... Um, you can't do dual lives on YouTube or in, or you can on Instagram, but you can't do dual lives. So I am not able to stream on Friday nights. Um, otherwise you guys would probably get irritated because you wouldn't be able to see what we're both doing. Uh, Jasmine Smith on YouTube. She said, question, do you have to wet the paint in order for it to blend properly? No, you do uh, not. Okay. I am planning on getting my DIY paint along with some of your brushes. And a water bottle, too. So she was just curious if you have to use the water. No, you don't. If you just apply paint and overlap them together, um, you definitely don't have to use water. That's just the way I do it. But you don't have to, no. There's no reason. It's a Even if you just wanted to take a piece of furniture and just put one simple coat on it, you don't have to use any water at all. Uh, that's just how I paint. The chalk, excuse me, the uh, DIY paint is pretty thick because it's a clay based. Um, and because of that, I like to thin it out just a little bit on my piece of furniture. But the best part of it is that it doesn't dull the color at all because it's so highly pigmented. The best part of DIY paint is that the, it's so saturated with the deep pigment. Uh, Jasmine, she says, I do love the process though. She just wanted to play around. Sure thing. And Debbie Rose, what's the brush you're using again? This is the Lil C, and it's from PaintPixie.com. Lil C, L-I-L-C. Claudia Moon Powell, how do you how do you paint wax and etc. and not get paint on your clothes? That's an awesome question. I get asked that daily, and honestly, I don't have an answer. I I don't know. I guess because I'm painting. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Some, I mean, I'm going to tell on you here. Some, I mean, I have a, but you know what? I didn't actually do that. No, I know. Well, you got I backed into a, a wall. My mom was painting, but I got paint on me when my mom was painting around me because I accidentally bumped my rear into a wall. So your mom. So mom painted my rear. That's what I'm going to say. Mom did that. So I have seen it in your hair though. Yeah. My hair, if I don't pull it back, yeah, it'll get in there. Or if, I, if I'm doing a ceiling, but normally like when I'm doing furniture, I mean, it might drip on my shoes or something, <laughs> but I don't usually have that issue. I may have it, well, no, I don't even have it on my hands. Hmm. I don't know. 
Brandy and Cole, she said, you're lucky. My kids even end up wearing my paint. <laughs> sometimes Abby will wear it. She backs into it sometimes with her body or her rear. Do we need this up? No? I didn't have to get that side. Yeah, I got it all. Nice. Yeah, we got it all with black wax. That was easy, breezy, mac and cheesy. So, like I said, tonight or tomorrow, um, this was a process that I did on Facebook for Friday night. You guys can go back and you can watch it. Um, it's still there. It was from January 3rd, but all the replays are always there if you're not on Facebook. Um, well, I guess we'll just have to go over it when, go over how we did it. Um, I get it all over me, on my face and on my elbows. Today I sat in paint, had a pair of Under Armour on. Oh no, Claudia, you sat in paint. How tall is this piece? Matthew, how tall is this? I would say the piece it's is like five. Right around like five. Five two? No, five six, five seven. How tall are you? Okay, he's right. It's about five seven. <laughs> what are you naming the piece? We've named her Pretty Little Steampunk. Uh, anyway, this is basically done. We need to get a piece of hardware um, for the top. I will lean that back a little bit so you can see the see the top part a little bit better. Oh gosh! Don't do that. Got it. Sorry, sorry. Um, uh, Jasmine Smith wants to know how she can find you on Facebook. Facebook. Go to the Turquoise Iris. The Turquoise Iris. That is my business page. And my website is at theturquoiseiris.com. We are entering our 10th year of business. This August will be 10, 10 years since I first went into business. You guys, I appreciate you so much for hanging out with us tonight. It's day 74 of 100. It means I'm going to be here 26 more days in a row. I have no holidays coming up, so I don't get to take off one. It's okay. We got this. I got this. Looks like we're going to have to start something new tomorrow, though. And I feel the need to finger paint. What? So, yeah. So, I'm feeling like tomorrow we're not going to start piece of furniture yet, but tomorrow we're going to be finger painting. Um, it's that January is all about unlocking that creative vault. Woo! Let's get it. Will you finger paint with me? No. Come on. I might challenge you to a duel, a finger painting duel. You're pointing your finger at me. We did this one time before, and it didn't, it didn't go too well for you. For me? Yeah. Yeah, I had votes. Everybody was voting for me. It was crazy. So, um, hashtag Paint Talk, my favorite paint show, is live, but we're about to wrap it up. We'll be back tomorrow, 8.30 Central Time. Um, actually, we'll probably be a little bit later tomorrow now that I think about it. I have talked to me Tuesday tomorrow in my creative connection group. So we'll be a little bit later, uh, be more like nine o'clock central time. So I'm sorry for you, East Coast. It is 2.30 in Australia. Prayers for all of you in Australia. But yeah, I think we'll be finger painting tomorrow, um, which could be messy. I will need a, probably an apron tomorrow across my lap. You guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. See ya. Hey, Barbie's on, and it won't let me end this video, which is funny when you want to end a video and it won't. But Miss Barbie, hey.